In problem number 13 of section 3.2, we're asked a couple questions about a demand function. Now recall that a demand function in economics is a function that takes the price um, of a good and uh, attempts to predict, using the price, attempts to predict how much of that good will be sold. Uh, there's a few assumptions that we're going to make about the demand function that we're working with. We're going to assume that it's always positive, so that no matter what we set the price at, uh, as long as the price is greater than or equal to zero, um, we'll assume that there will be some demand for it, that someone will be, will be buying the, the object or good. And we're going to assume that it's decreasing. So as we raise the price, fewer people uh, will, want, will want to buy this particular good. And as the price tends towards infinity, the demand, we'll, we'll assume, goes to zero. So if we write our function um, d of p, the demand at price p. Now, uh, part a asks us to sketch a differentiable demand curve with no inflection points. Now, if it has no inflection points and is also decreasing and approaches zero as p approaches to infinity, uh, then we really only have one option uh, for the concavity. And it's going to be something like this. And you can see that if we tried to put in uh, a graph that was concave, uh, concave up, then at some point there, we would ha we would end up needing to cross. We'd end up having to cross the uh, p axis there. But if we keep our graph at um, keep our graph concave up, then we can fit in. This is the only option for um, uh, for the concavity of a demand curve with no inflection points. Now, Part B asks us to. sketch another demand curve, this time one that has exactly one inflection point. So we'll just pretend that the inflection point, we'll call it x, is right here. And it has a value right there. Uh, so here we have d of x. Now we need to figure out exactly what the concavity is doing here. Is it going from positive to, or is it concave up to concave down? concave down to concave up. Well, we see that as um, p tends towards infinity, the graph is going to have to kind of look like this by the same reasoning as before. So it's going to have to be concave up when p is greater than x, which means that our only choice is concave down for p less than x if we want this graph to have exactly one um, one inflection point. Now, we did want this to be a differentiable curve, so I'm going to redraw this so it looks a little bit smoother here. And this would be an example of a, cur a demand curve that has exactly one inflection point. 